Love it or hate it, the Transformers franchise isn't going anywhere anytime soon. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think they're all pretty much trash outside one or two. That being said, I respect the opinion of those that feel compassionate about the franchise. So we're bringing back a feature here on Movie Feuds known as the Rose Colored Glasses. When you see this icon pop up, that's your cue to put these imaginary glasses on and take all the sarcasm I'm saying as genuine praise. We're going to start at the bottom of this best and worst list, work our way up. Let's get started on Movie Feuds. Please place your fake glasses on now. The fourth Transformers film acts as a soft reboot to the series, replacing the bloated runtime, nonsensical script, and excessive explosions with a bloated runtime, nonsensical script, and excessive explosions. The every five minute American flag waving shots is a nice reminder from Bay and Company that this is an American film, damn it. It's patriotic. Just ignore the second half that takes place in China. We're trying to appease the global box office. That's where we get most of our revenue now. It would be an optimist crime if I didn't mention the fantastic addition of the Dinobots. I love that the writers made them as dumb and tacked on as possible. Another nice tip of the hat was making the movie almost three hours long because I want to spend as much time as humanly possible talking about Transformium. Autobots, let's roll out to the number three spot. This is easily just as wonderful as the last film on my spot, but it goes boop, 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 just a tad bit higher because it's 15 minutes shorter. So all the glorious metal carnage has a better pace to it. Some people said that Robot Heaven was stupid and it didn't make sense that Sam Witwicky went there. Some people said it was insulting that the Devastator had wrecking balls for private parts. Some people even had the audacity to say that the plot made no sense whatsoever. I mean, I have no counter argument, but still. It was a blast to watch a Decepticon almost sleep with Shia's character for no reason whatsoever in the most sexual way possible. Sure, the robot could have just knocked Sam out in his dorm room and stole the info from his head, but no. Michael Bay and company go places us mere mortals don't even dare to. Robot rape. In a family movie. Based on a toy line by Hasbro. Well done. Out of all the films in the series, I remember this one the least, and that's a good thing. The Mad Max models in it, that's, that's something. I was impressed with her performance because she was able to make me appreciate Megan Fox in the first two films. I didn't think any actress could ever achieve such a feat. One time, true story, I saw Bumblebee kill Shockwave, and then the film immediately jump cuts to Bumblebee being held captive. And I think it was even in handcuffs, like robot handcuffs. What? Well done. Kept me guessing. The script keeps you sharp. It keeps you on your toes. Bonus points for putting Megatron in a Nathan Drake-esque scarf out in the desert. Not sure he was keeping out dust or just making a fashion statement, but in either case, nailed it! There was some cool slow motion Shia screaming shots. It's basically a masterpiece. Let's go to the number one spot. Please remove your fake, sarcastic, rose-colored glasses now. We're at the number one spot, and I legitimately liked the first Transformers movie. Seeing my childhood cartoon characters brought into a live-action movie was awesome. Sure, most of them looked nothing like the original models, and the camera appeared to be attached to a shake weight for the majority of the action scenes, but so what? Bay and crew did more right than wrong by setting up a fun little adventure with plenty of laughs and a good amount of alien action. And even if I didn't like the flick, which I do, I do though, it still introduced me to Megan Fox, the smoking hot bombshell. So for that, I thank them. I give her and the movie two disfigured thumbs up. If Shia were here right now, what would he say? Bumblebee! Optimus! But he's not. So I'm going to do my best to translate for him. The Transformers movies are kind of the definition of a summer blockbuster. They're big, they're loud, they're really, 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 really dumb. If that's your speed, then you should continue to find enjoyment in them. The nostalgia wore off for me after the first flick. I will, however, continue to watch and talk about the Transformers movies because I need all the views I can get, and those films are very popular. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. And please recycle your rose-colored glasses. We're not running to charity here. Not anymore. Not, not since the fire.